Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Today we're going to check out the Rampage Extreme 3 motherboard from Asus. And here it is. This is the Rampage Extreme 3 motherboard from Asus. So let's take this board out of the box, have a look at the board as well as what accessories come with this overclocking motherboard. And here is the uh, Rampage Extreme 3 motherboard itself. We'll come back to this board in a moment. Let's have a look what accessories come with this board. And here is the accessory kit. With the accessory kit, you will receive some cube connectors for hooking up your on-off switch, reset switch, hard disk drive LEDs, as well as USBs. Crossfire bridge some plastic cable ties for basic cable management, an SLI bridge, Bluetooth adapter for Bluetooth connectivity on this board, the Republic of Gamers Pro Belt kit. Now this kit you connect to the motherboard, you can connect your multimeter to these wires and you can monitor the voltage real time off the motherboard whilst you're overclocking. Real handy kit and a three-way SLI bridge. You also have an accessory here. This is an additional fan. It's an optional fan actually for your heat sink. As well as three thermal couples or thermal sensors. Two six gigabyte SATA cables. Six regular three gigabyte SATA cables. Uh, eSATA and USB adapter kit, Republic of Gamers connectivity cable, an input output shield, as well as your user guide. Now, inside your user guide, you'll have a set of cable labels for cable management, your installed CD, as well as case decal, and this comes with a registration code for Vantage. Uh, so you can register a game of 3D Vantage with that. We also have Republic of Gamers case decal. The socket on this motherboard is a socket 1366, so it is compatible with all Core i7 processors from Intel. This motherboard is capable of accepting up to 24 gig in memory and with the right memory speed, capable of overclocking the memory to 2200 MHz or 2.2 GHz. This board comes armed with four PCI Express X16 slots. So with this board, you can run three-way SLI or four-way Crossfire X. That's going to be an outstanding board for overclocking. You also get your regular PCI slot and a PCIe X4 slot. On the motherboard, we also have some 12 volt Molex connections. These are additional power hookups to boost the voltage through the PCI Express lanes, especially if you want to run in three way SLI or four way Crossfire X. For onboard cooling on this motherboard, you have this huge heat sink and heat pipe assembly that cools the voltage regulators, north bridge and south bridge on this motherboard. We also have the additional accessory fan that you can hook up in place here instead of the passive heat sink. On the rear of the motherboard, we have the following rear panel connectors. A PS2 keyboard or mouse port, USB 2.0 ports, a CMOS reset button, SPDIF optical output port, USB 2.0 ports, Firewire port, eSATA port, Ethernet hookup, USB 2.0 ports, Republic of Gamers connectivity button, Republic of Gamers connection, that's a USB 2.0 connection, as well as two USB 3.0 connection ports and our audio hookups. 
On the top corner of our motherboard we have our start switch and reset switch hard mounted onto the board, especially useful if you're an overclocker and you usually have your motherboard outside of a case. We also have four switches here. These switches are for enabling or disabling your PCI Express X16 lens, especially useful if you've got all your GPUs installed and water cooled and you think you have a problem card, you can troubleshoot and find the exact issue card just by turning these lanes off. We also have a Pro Belt connectors here for reading real time voltage using the Pro Belt connection set, or we have our voltage pads for reading directly off the board. To provide an extremely stable overclock, this motherboard also comes armed with two 8 pin 12 volt power hookups to inject as much power as this CPU needs for the maximum overclock. Now let's have a quick look at this motherboard, check out some of the other features and check back in a couple of days we're going to be putting this motherboard on the test bench, overclocking with it and see exactly how much potential on water cooling this motherboard has. Thanks again for watching Troubadour's videos, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe on YouTube if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in extreme PC and gaming hardware.